This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. The result of years of research and development, an iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it iPhone. As we arrive at iPhone's first birthday, we're going to take it to the next level. And today, we're introducing the iPhone 3G. Some people have called it the phone that has changed phones forever. And that's why I'm really excited to tell you about an entirely new version, the iPhone 3GS. Yes. For 2010, we're going to take the biggest leap since the original iPhone. Today, we're introducing iPhone 4. Fourth generation iPhone. Believe me, you ain't seen it. You've got to see this thing in person. It is one of the most beautiful designs you've ever seen. Well, I'm really pleased to tell you today all about the brand new iPhone 4S. started with that first iPhone, and each and every year, we introduce new versions. Today, we're going to introduce iPhone 5. But this year, we're going to replace the iPhone 5, and we're going to replace it with not one, but two new designs. The iPhone 5C. The second is called iPhone 5S. We've designed something wonderful. We have invented a new technology called multi-touch, which is phenomenal. It works like magic. It's thinner than any smartphone out there. It's got a full plastic back. It's really nice. Flush headphone jack, so you can use any headphones you like. It has the same great design of the iPhone 3G that we just launched last summer. This is beyond a doubt, the most precise thing, one of the most beautiful things we've ever made. And it's really thin. Of course, it's glass in the front and back, and has that incredible stainless steel band around it, making it the thinnest smartphone. iPhone 5 is the thinnest phone we have ever made. It is the lightest as well. It is the most beautiful product we have ever made. This is iPhone 5C, and it's really stunning. Incredible new color design. On the back, the biggest thing of note is we got a two megapixel camera built right in. Well, on the new iPhone 3GS, there's a brand new three megapixel autofocus camera. The best thing about this camera is it also captures video. A whole new camera system built into iPhone 4. What we've done is we've gone from a three megapixel to a five megapixel sensor. But that's not all. Because the camera also records HD video. So what's this new camera inside the iPhone 4S like? An eight megapixel sensor. And we have some huge advancements in technology with iPhone 5S to do just that. The new five element Apple designed lens that has a larger F2.2 aperture. Two LEDs, one a cooler white one, and another a warmer amber one. So we have a video camera that you can select in the camera app. We have a second one called a slow motion camera. You select that one, and then you can create scenes with slow motion. The iPhone 4 is powered by the A4 chip. It has a new chip inside. The A5 chip that we've launched just this year in the iPad 2 is now making its way into the iPhone. Compared to the A5, it's two times faster at CPU, two times faster at graphics. The A7 chip, this is remarkable. It is a 64-bit desktop class architecture. We have a completely new part in the iPhone. We call it M7. It takes advantage of all these great sensors, and it continually measures the data coming from them without even having to wake up the A7 chip. Our CPU performance from the first iPhone to now the new iPhone 5S, it's increased 40 times. It's got a three and a half inch screen on it. It's really big. and. It's the highest resolution screen we've ever shipped. It's 160 pixels per inch. Now the retina display 
has 326 pixels Woo! per inch. This is. Every iPhone to date has had a 3.5 inch screen, but the new screen on iPhone 5 is a four inch display. The same 326 pixels per inch. So a lot's changed and it's time for the connector to evolve. And that's just what we've done. Our new connector is called Lightning. Touch ID uses a key you have with you everywhere you go. Your finger, and more specifically, your fingerprint, which is unique to each of us. It reads your fingerprint at an incredibly detailed level. Only Apple could create such amazing software, hardware, and services. But <clears throat> there is one more thing. And we've managed to keep it secret.